Hello everyone. Good to see you again. You're doing good. Continue the fight. You can do it. Okay everybody. This is chapter 12, part B. All right. Here are some questions. What are you doing now? I'm teaching English. What did you do yesterday? I went to my hairstylist to get a haircut, right? What do you usually do on every day? I go to gym every day. Yeah, that's me. That's your teacher at the gym. What are you going to do tomorrow? Well, for tomorrow, I'm going to record a video, right? Okay. Now, I want you to ask these questions to your partner. Speak with your partner. Good. Good. Well done. Okay. Now, review of present, past, and future. Present means right now. Past and future. Future. Right? Okay. So, I want you to listen and repeat. Let's go. 4.46 You're in room 4. You aren't in room 4. Are you in room 4? Where are you? She works in an office. She doesn't work in an office. Does she work in an office? Where does she work? You can park here. You can't park here. Can I park here? Where can I park? He's watching a movie now. He isn't watching a movie. Is he watching a movie? Where is he watching a movie? Past. I was at school yesterday. I wasn't at school yesterday. Were you at school yesterday? When were you at school yesterday? We arrived in Vietnam on Friday. We didn't arrive in Vietnam on Friday. Did you arrive in Vietnam on Friday? When did you arrive in Vietnam? She went to the movies. She didn't go to the movies. Did she go to the movies? When did she go to the movies? Future. They're going to visit Argentina next year. They aren't going to visit Argentina next year. Are they going to visit Argentina next year? When are they going to visit Argentina? Well done, everybody. Very good. So everything I taught you in a wrap. Good. So present right now. Past. Future. 
right? Very good. Now, look, use simple present to talk about things we usually do and things that are normally true. I'm a nurse, I go to gym every day, hmm? I live in Vancouver, Canada. So something you usually do or something that is usually true. I'm a teacher. Use simple present with frequency adverbs. What are they? Never, sometimes, always, usually, right? Use can and can't to talk about permission or possibility. For example, you can't park here. Can you come to dinner tomorrow? I can swim. Use present continuous to talk about things that are happening now and continuing. For example, I'm teaching you English right now and I'm still doing it. I'm talking to my friend on the phone. I am going to the gym, right? Use past form to talk about finished actions, right? For example, I went to school. I went to the gym. I bought a book, right? In the next part, the simple past with be, regular verbs and irregular verbs have the same meaning and use. They all describe finished action, actions. The only difference is the way of spelling of the verbs change. If it's regular ED, I talked to my friend, I walked home, but irregular, I went home, I bought a book. Good. And at the same time, you can use past time expressions with the simple past. What is past time expression? Yesterday, last night, last week, last month, last year. For example, I traveled to Thailand last year. Right? Good. And use be going to to talk about future plans. I'm going to Thailand next year. I'm going to practice yoga. I'm going to buy a book, future. And with that, use tonight, tomorrow, next week, next year. Very good. Okay, now let's practice your skills. Show me your potential. All right, you have two series of questions here. The first one is, write sentences in the simple past, simple present continuous, future going to, Okay, at the same time, B, complete the questions and answers with one word. Good. So, as usual, stop the video, do it and check it with your partner, play the video. Let's go. So, for example, you see the movie, did you see the movie? Past, present. Number one, isn't American or is not American. Number two. Where are we going to have dinner? Number three, past. When did you visit Mexico? Number four, past again. I bought a new suit for work. Number five, present continuous. It's happening now and it's continuing. I can't find time. What is he wearing? A blue suit and a hat. Number six, present. Am I late? Number seven, future. So aren't going to do your homework tonight. Number eight, present. Do we have any eggs? Number nine. He didn't drive to work. Number ten, present continuous. It's raining right now. Eleven, future. Is your friend going to work in Paris? Number twelve, past. Did you like the movie? No, it was terrible. Okay, now complete the questions and answers with one word. Okay. Were you at school last week? No, I was sick. Can you come to dinner tonight? Sorry, I can't. I have plans. Number two. Where did you go on a vacation? We visited Korea and Japan. Number three. Where were Kim and Jessica last night at the gym? Four. Does Mark's wife speak Japanese? No, she doesn't. She speaks Chinese. Number five. Are you? Going to have a party next week? Yes, I am. Can you come? Six. Did you see the newspaper today? Yes, I did. The news was terrible. Number seven. Is Maria in your class? 
No, she isn't. She's in Louisa's class. Number eight. Excuse me. Where can I change money? B. You can change money at the bank on Third Street. Number nine. Who is Andrew going to play tennis with tomorrow? His friend Mario. Number ten. When was Amy in Rio last year in February? Eleven. How do you, how do they usually go to work? They go by bus. Twelve. What are you listening to? The new Beyonce song. Thirteen. Is she working right now? Yes, she is. She's in a meeting. And number fourteen. Was Erica at the gym yesterday? Yes, she was. Well done, everybody. You did great. I'm proud of you. Okay, let's play a little game. So this is the start and this is the finish line. You and your partner, working groups, play the game, move around the board and answer the questions. The first person to get to finish is the winner. For example, how do you spell your name? What's your email address? What do you have in your bag? Do it with your partner. Good. Let's move on. Okay, pronunciation. Review of sounds. Can you remember put three verbs in each column? Train, a, egg, a, e, boot, u, phone, o, cat, a, tree, e. Now camp, do, get, go, have, help, no, lose, make, meet, play, tra rain, relax, see, send, snow, speak, use. Okay, do it with your partner. Mm -hmm. Good. Listen and check. 4.47 Train A Make Play. Rain. Egg. E. Eh. Get. Help. Send. Boot. Oo. Do. Lose. Use. Phone. O. Go. No. Snow. Cat. A. Ah. Camp. Have. Relax. Tree. E. Meet. See, speak. Okay, for those who checked it, let's see. Make, play, rain, get, help, send, do, lose, use, go, no, snow, camp, have, relax, tree, meet, see, speak. Well done. Okay, in the next part, can you remember which verbs do you use? Do, get, go. Have, leave, make, play, take. All right. Do this one with your partner. It's easy. Stop the video. Do it with your partner. Good. Okay. Let's check it. Take an umbrella. Take photos. Take a shower. Go home. Go shopping. Go to the gym. The gym. Do homework, housework, play the piano, play soccer, play computer games, play Call of Duty, maybe. Get up in the morning, get a birthday gift, get a letter, have dinner, have a sandwich, have children, make dinner, make friends, make a phone call, leave the house, leave your wallet on the bus. Perfect. Nice. Now, part B, complete the questions with the verb from the A. Again. Complete the questions with your partner. Let's do it. All right. You ready? You have the verbs. Okay. For example, let me do number one. Do you play sports? What sports do you play? Okay. Number two. Let's do it. Okay. Number two. What do you usually have for lunch? What did you have for lunch yesterday? Three. When do you usually do homework? Are you going to do homework tonight? Number four, do you sometimes 
Make dinner for your friends or family. What do you usually make? Number five, did you go shopping last week? Where did you go? What did you buy? Number six, do you get a lot of text messages? How many do you get a day? Who are they from? Number seven, what time do you usually leave the house in the morning? Where do you go after you leave? And number eight, when do you take photos? Do you usually take photos with a camera or with your cell phone? Okay, well done. You did very good. Now ask and answer these questions with your partner. Ask them right now. That's it, everyone. I hope that you liked it. So make sure to subscribe to the channel. If you have a question, put them down below and I get back to you very soon. Bye-bye.